Killer Code is a very powerful tool. In this video, we explore how to customize AI behavior using custom rules. Incredible feature of Killer Code. So, what are the custom rules? Custom rules are project-specific instructions what instruct AI on what to do, how to follow, how to write documentation, what are specific settings you want to apply to this project, and that's important what all AI models will follow them. Those basically are text files we can write in plain text, but in general I prefer to use Markdown because uh, due to its structure and nature, it's easier for AI models to understand what's important and uh, what to do. Uh, we can use custom rules to define coding standards and enforce them, enforce uh, LLMs to follow them. We can set some security standards and security controls. Uh, we can force LLMs to write documentation what we want uh, to have um, in this particular standard for this particular project, uh, what will be the testing procedures for it, and the overall project structure. Uh, for example, uh, we can create uh, restricted files um, file rule set, which will instruct agent models uh, to not touch these or that files because you don't want to event, you don't want them to be accessible to LLMs and they won't have access to that. Therefore, let's see how it works in practice. So, to use the custom rules, first I need to create a folder. I will create this folder, uh, and it must have a name killer code. Then one more folder called rules. Inside this dot killer code slash rules folder, I'm going to have uh, files what will define uh, my rules. Uh, that can be any names you want. Uh, and for this example, for example, I will have tables md file, which is empty for the moment. Let's take a look. I will ask to create a file for me. Write a table. One is a file. One table. Uh, three rows. CTC equation. So, agent creates a file for me. Works as expected. Now I want to set custom rules. For example, I want all my tables to have some specific properties. Uh, I go and define tables as a header, so it will be clear for AI model what we speak about tables, and that's very important. Then I say, uh, always write table computers in all capital letters. Uh, very well, and now I repeat the previous task, create a table as well, uh, write table, three rows, four sleep, rotates, for example. So, agent will do that for me, but notice how it takes into account what it needs to remember the rule, write table column headers in all capital letters. So, take a look at this file. Those changes were applied, and now our headers are all capital in comparison with the first one. Um, so that's in short how uh, custom rules work. This example may be not so applied, so let's do something more useful. First, I will create a file. I will call it secret team, and I will put there super secret credentials. Now, my agent can access this file, so I want to prevent that. I will create one more file, call it restricted. Name can be different, uh, but um, those uh, rules are considered uh, also like file names, so it makes sense to make it clear for the model what happened. Then, restricted files. And I can put for something like that, for example, here. Files in this list contain sensitive data. They must not be read. So there is a file secret.txt, 
and I don't want it to be accessed. So I put this file. And now I will ask agent to open the file secret and print it. So as you see, that's completed. It cannot read the content of the file. <laughs> Works as a charm, right? Now, that's one of the coolest things what you can do with custom rules is you can put them under version control. I guess you use Git. So it will standardize behavior for killer code for all the members of your team. That's incredible, right? Killer code is a very powerful open source AI agent. And with your help, we can make it even more powerful. So want to get on the next video? Send your suggestions and tell us how, what kind of custom rules you use or you would like to use and get on our next video with recommendations. Set likes, subscribe to our channel and thank you for being with us.